The information presented in this video is for high level awareness only. This is not intended to serve as training. Stratus configuration remains under development. Any features shown in this video are subject to change. Hi, my name is Lauren Rowe. With Stratus, you will have the ability to receive, code, and or approve an invoice directly within the application. This video will discuss receiving, coding, and approving an invoice, purchase order, and non-purchase order within the Stratus application. Invoices will be sent to the Accounts Payable Department via email. When an invoice is sent to AP by a supplier, it will either be matched to a purchase order or it will need account coding. The AP office will add the name of the individual the invoice belongs to and send it out to that individual to add chart field information. If the invoice is matched to a purchase order, it will automatically be routed to any necessary cost center managers or financial stewards for approval. If distributions have already been added to the invoice, either because it was matched to a PO or a requester has previously added distributions, the invoice will automatically route to any necessary cost center managers for approval. Every invoice requires two approvals per cost center, so these notifications will fire at the same time and one does not need to wait for the other to approve. If an invoice is matched to a PO and you are one of the cost center managers and financial stewards of the cost center used, you will need to approve the invoice. If you have an invoice to approve, you will receive a bell notification and email within the application. From the bell notification, click the link to the invoice. This will bring up a pop-up box with the invoice details such as the distribution combination, which is the chart field information, the purchase order if it is matched to one, the invoice amount, and so on. From here, you have the option to view the invoice image, approve, reject, or click on actions. If you click the drop down arrow on actions, you have the ability to edit distributions, request information, delegate, reassign, route task, add comments, add attachments, or view the approvals. If you click approve or reject, you have the ability to add any additional comments or attachments and hit submit. In this case, we are going to approve this invoice for payment. From here, I can enter any additional comments, add any additional attachments, and submit. Once approved, the invoice is then routed to any additional cost center managers and financial stewards for approval, and then back to the accounts payable office to be paid. If the invoice is rejected at this point, the invoice will be returned to AP. If an invoice is not matched to a purchase order and needs the distribution combination added, AP will add the name of who they believe is the requester or owner of that invoice. The requester will then receive a bell notification and email that account coding is required on an invoice. Within the bell notification in Stratus, click on the link. A pop-up box will appear with the invoice information and different actions that you can take. From here, you have the ability to view the invoice, return if it doesn't belong to you, and it will be sent back to AP or other actions. Clicking on the actions drop-down will give you the ability to edit distributions, request information, delegate, reassign, add comments, add attachments, or view approvals. 
To add account coding, which we are demonstrating at this point, we are going to click on Edit Distributions. A new pop-up screen will appear. Under Distributions, click the plus sign to add a distribution combination on the invoice. Enter the amount to be paid. And click the icon under distribution combination next to the blank text box. This is where you will enter the chart field information that the invoice is being charged to. Once all necessary fields are completed, click OK. You can add as many distribution lines as needed if the invoice is being split by multiple cost centers and or account numbers by clicking the plus sign again to create a new line. Once all chart field information has been entered, click Save and Close. Now that distributions have been added, you have the ability to hit complete. You can then add any additional comments or attachments and hit submit. Once submitted, the invoice is then routed to any necessary cost center managers or financial stewards for approval. Once approved by all parties, the invoice is then sent back to AP to be paid. For more information, please visit our website, towson.edu stratus.